Hey guys, this is Chris from the Atlas Shine channel, and just a quick touch up before I really get into this battle. Um, on my reply to Snowpoint Temple, uh, really big thanks to those guys who actually watched it and understand what I was doing. Uh, especially uh, West Warren and Dante, great support, love you guys. Um, guys who didn't quite get it, eh, what am I going to do? There's nothing I can really do to change people's minds. So, thanks guys. Okay, so this is a triples match up against a XX Ruby Dragon XX. Yes, I know, it's been a while. And I got a battle with him. And it's a triples match of all things. I lead off with my guys. He leads off with his guys. I go for the follow me on Aphilia the Togetic. As he goes for the taunt with his Tornadus. Um, he goes for the Ice Beam. Did he go for the Ice Beam already? Yeah, he went for the Ice Beam on Aphilia. And it did uh, huge damage for the Eviolite. I simple beam my Gorbis. And then I get my Shell Smash off with the White Herb. So I got plus 4 speed, plus 4 special attack, plus 4 attack. And no defense drops. Um, he actually goes for the Tailwind um, right here. As I go for the Surf, Telepathy protects Chlorist. Um, so everyone except for Chlorist is going to take the hit from the Surf that's boosted by Rain, boosted by Stab, boosted by being 300% uh, special attack right now. Wilma does not take that at all. But it, she left her legacy, or he left his legacy. Uh, there goes a Safeguard from Encore. And not from Encore, from Mr. Mime, as Encore goes for an Ice Beam. And since it's resisted, and I did not get the defi uh, special defense drop, it's not going to do a whole lot to my Gorobis. So he switches in Ucro card, and I'm uh, dead afraid of the Sucker Punch, and as well as he will uh, recover from my um, attack. So I'm not quite sure what where to go from here. Uh, he Ruby withdraws Encore and sends out Amperage, um, his e Electros, as Quick and Clean goes for the... Um, Teeter Dance, which is going to confuse Chlorist and uh, Gorobis. And since he has a safeguard, Amperage will be protected. I was going for the Baton Pass right here, but I hurt myself in confusion, and it does more than I wanted. As the Drain Punch hits my Obama Snow, I'm like, oh, that was horrible. That actually hurt a lot. Um, but I do get my Leech Seed off. I do manage to take it pretty decently, and I get Amperage with the Leech Seed. Chlorist um, is going to go get his Reflect up, so that guarantees that I will be able to live another Drain Punch after Leftovers and my Leech Seed is recovered. So, things are um, eh, hot and cold right now. I believe we both lost. Uh, I lost my Togetic and he lost um, his Tornadus, so things are a little different right now. So, I'm getting my recovery, he's getting his recovery, all, all sorts of after turn effects activated right now due to my hail, my leech seed, everybody's leftovers, black sludge, I don't know, whatever. And yeah, so that's what's going on right now. So, I go for the protect with my Obama Snow, as Chloris is confused, but he's going to manage to get his ally switch off, which I'm not quite sure, I think ally switch only affects the complete opposite side of the field, which it's good and it's bad, it means it's predictable for me, but it'll be predictable for somebody else. Born uh, snaps out of confusion, gets a baton pass off, and lives the psychic pretty well, and switches into Terra Nova. My Needle King is uh, its a special set that's designed only for triples. He takes the resisted uh, drain punch pretty well, and he's immune to the wild charge. That's really good. Good thing I got out of that confusion. Terra Nova was uh, designed to receive the baton pass uh, during the triples match, since he has access to a variety of field hitting moves like surf earthquake heat wave um blizzard and there's one other one oh sludge wave i have all those except for the heat wave and it allows him to have pretty decent coverage and at 300 percent of his normal special attack and physical attack as well as the, the stab sludge wave and earthquake he deals a lot of damage on, on the field and with partners like chlorist and uh frizzlock who can go for protect um it's really great power right there. I mean, he, he, he does a lot of work. So right here he goes for the Earthquake. And I didn't think um, at first what I could have done um, on this turn. I realize now, I'll, I'll, I'll end up doing it later on, what I could have done. Instead of going for the Ally Switch with Chlorist, I could go for Simple Beam on Amperage, which will take away his Levitate ability and make him weak to Earthquake, and that would have ended him real quick. I probably could have finished this uh, a, couple, a turn or two earlier. He goes for the Coil, which I'm not quite sure what he wants to do, but I go for the Ingrain with um, Frizzlock. A uh, combination of Leech Seed um, and Ingrain with Hail Damage. Um, he stays on the field, which helps me out a whole lot. And um, pretty much, he, he's, he's just a stally little 
Obama snow. So he sends out his hobo, and I'm like, oh my goodness, you should you should probably get a job and you know contribute to society. And Crow Card comes out, and he looks more like a hobo than hobo. I go for the protect, which means I'm going to be able to avoid the um, possible drain punch. But he goes for the sucker punch, and I'm more confident with Terra Nova, since he has um, um, natural bulk to him. So he goes for the earthquake, and since I went for protect with Frizz Lock, and Chloris has telepathy, he'll be unaffected. And that means my Earthquake can do huge damage. Uh, Hobo's a bit of a wall, and he still almost got knocked out. And um, Eucro card got dropped easy. And there's where I went for the Simple Beam to get rid of Levitate. So things are looking pretty good at this point. So Hobo goes for the Attract. And I'm like asking Terra Nova, Yo, dude, wh wh what do you see in him? And he's like, I love Hobo. I'm like, hey, you, you, why would you love Hobo? I mean, she's homeless. She's just going to be a gold digger. No, 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 no gold digger, no Kanye West. I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. You you love her all you want. You, you do what you need to do. Um, uh, First Lock's like, whatever. I'm just going to keep getting my seeds. Chloris is finally snaps out of confusion despite not being hurt and confusing the entire time he's switching places having a blast uh one thing i didn't know um is that when you ally switch a pokemon leech seed still goes to the original position so chloris is getting leech seed recovery right here so right here uh first off uh, gets a critical hit from the resisted wild charge so that does manage to break his substitute and, you know, uh, he does take a super effective bug bite from a wall, so it doesn't really quite matter. Uh, Terra Nova was immobilized by love, and I'm like, really? If you know how we feel about, you know, uh, relationships when you're at work. And he's like, I'm sorry. Don't, no, no HR. No HR. I'm like, okay, fine. Next turn, you better get rid of that hobo. And, you know, first lock is like, I don't want to be around for this. I'm just going to go for the protect. And Chloris is like, yeah, how about we switch places so, you know, I don't have to worry about that. And Terra Nova's like, fine, I'm going to just go for the Earthquake. So he, he sh uh, Obama still goes for the Protect, and Chloris says Telepathy, and there's no more Levitate on Amperage. And that's the KO right there. So really great game. First time I believe I've recorded myself actually beating Ruby, so awesome match. Um, thank you, Ruby, for giving me the great match. Thank you all for watching it. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.